Creating a cartoon aesthetic is one of the most fun things you can do in After Effects. And in today's tutorial, I'll show you just how easy it is to create your own cartoon-style title animations in After Effects. What's up everyone, this is Jorn Bertone with Sonduck Film. Be sure to drop a like on the video, it helps us out a ton, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is create, animate, and style our main title layer. Here we have our text layer, and to quickly add an animation, what we'll do is go to the Effects and Presets window, type in Slide Up by Character, then drag and drop this animation preset onto the title layer. Now you can see we have this nice animation in for our title. Next, select the pen tool. Make sure the title layer is highlighted and create a nice curve that goes across the composition like this. Open the text layer, path options, set the path to the mask we just made and now the title will run across the path like this. If the title isn't centered properly, you can adjust the first margin to move it where you want on the path. Next, pre-compose this text layer. We'll name it to Text Placeholder and click OK. Highlight the pre-comp, go to Layer, Layer Styles, Color Overlay, and Layer, Layer Styles, Stroke. We're going to set the color overlay and stroke colors to a deep dark purple and set the stroke size to 15. Duplicate the pre-comp, open it up, go to the Layer Styles, we'll change the colors to both be a light cream color and set the stroke size to 7 so that we can see the purple layer behind it. Duplicate this layer, open it up, go to Layer Styles, We'll change these colors to a dark orange, delete the stroke style, then use the arrow keys to move this layer down and to the right a bit to add some depth. Duplicate this layer one more time, delete the color overlay, use the arrow keys to move the text up and to the left a bit, then go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. Set the start and end of ramp to be near the center of the title like this, then we'll set the start color to a light yellow and the end color to a light orange. Now we have our stylized title layer animated and ready to go. Next, we're going to set up a layered 3D shadow to go underneath of our main title. Start by enabling the layers as 3D layers. Highlight the bottom title pre-comp, duplicate it, change the label color to orange so that we can keep track of it, open up the bottom pre-comp, go to layer style, and we'll change the color of the overlay and stroke to just a normal orange. Press P for position, hold the Alt key and click the stopwatch for position, then paste in this expression that you can find in the description of the video. This expression will automate the repositioning of the title every time that we duplicate it. Duplicate this pre-comp around 10 times and you'll see a shadow start to form behind the title. Next, we'll take our bottom duplicate, change the label color to purple, open the layer style, change the overlay and stroke color to a dark purple, and duplicate the pre-comp another 10 or so times. Next, we'll make the final shadow, so make one more duplicate, change the label color to brown, delete the color overlay and stroke from the layer styles, Go to Effect, Generate, Fill, and Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. Set the color of the fill to pure black, set the blurriness of the Gaussian Blur to 15, and increase the Y value of the position so that the shadow is further off of the text layer. Press T for Opacity, and set the Opacity to 40%. Lastly, we'll set up a camera, so go to Layer, New, Camera, click OK, select the Orbit Around Cursor tool, Hold Shift, then click and drag upwards to get an angle that shows off the 3D effect of the shadow more. And now we have this layered 3D multicolor shadow underneath of our title. Before we move on, as you may know, creating motion graphics can be incredibly time consuming. That's why we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce professional work with our Motion Duck extension. For example, you can easily preview templates from one of our packs and just click the apply button. Then you can quickly change the template parameters and you're done. So if you're looking to gain an edge within your work, check out every template we have for After Effects and Premiere Pro with the links below. Now we're going to finish off the composition with a reveal animation and a custom rotating background. Start by going to Layer, New, Solid, We'll make it a darker yellow, click OK, and put this at the bottom as our background. Next, we'll create our rotating shape, so select the pen tool, set fill to solid color, stroke to none, then start at the center of the composition and create a long triangle that goes way off the composition, like this. Open the shape layer, go to Add, Repeater, open the repeater, set the copies to 6, open Transform, set the position to 0, 0, then increase the rotation until the triangles are evenly spaced out like this. Put the shape layer above the background on the layer list, set the mode of the shape layer to soft light, change the opacity to 60, press R for rotation, 
Alt click the stopwatch for rotation and type in time asterisk 20 so that it constantly rotates. For the reveal animation, create a new solid, make it black this time, click OK, select the ellipse tool and create a small circular mask in the center of the composition. Open the mask, set a keyframe for mask expansion at the start of the timeline, decrease the mask expansion until the mask is gone, move forward on the timeline a bit, increase the expansion until the entire screen is covered, then invert the mask so that it wipes away the solid. Now you have this awesome cartoon-styled animated title for your projects in After Effects. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more post-production tutorials every week, and remember, always be creating.